Today I have with me Cameron Kusher, who is a property analyst with RP Data. Cameron, welcome. Thanks, Tim. What, what's, the, what's the message uh, for someone putting their house on the market now? But well, the most important thing is to be realistic about your price expectations. As I said, the market hasn't really done much since May of last year mm -hmm. in terms of, of, of price growth, so people need to understand that the market still isn't in the same position it was coming you know, back 12 months ago. Yeah. We're not seeing that price growth in the market, so mm. you can't keep pricing your property higher. No. Um, you need to be realistic about the price you set, and you need to realise that uh, there's a lot of competition for people trying to sell, but there's not a lot of competition for people trying to buy. So mm. Mm. negotiation power is now back with the buyer. Yep. Um, they can play properties off against one another, they can take their time they can mm -hmm. negotiate quite hard. So, yep. you know, you need to set up a competitive price and you need to realise that it may take a while for you to get that property sold. It's yeah. not going to be back uh, like we were sort of a year and a half ago where properties were selling quite often in, in less than a month. It's yeah. going to take longer than that. To yeah. get is, is there a time on market average at the moment that you're aware of? Acro quite? Across the country, it's about 47 days for houses and about 43 for units. Okay. But we're certainly seeing evidence that it's increasing and that's the data to um, January yeah. of this year. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a bit of a further creep outwards right. over the next couple of months. I mean, as, a, as, a, as a, an aside to that, I guess the thing that, um, that we are seeing very strongly is that if the, if the property is priced right, and, and I mean you know, very competitively, uh, there's still plenty of buyers who will jump to attention on that. So it's not like it was a number of years ago where um, you know, it was a case of find a buyer, grab them and sell them something. Uh, it's, it's a much stronger market, but it's, it's so obviously related to, to price and value and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, definitely. And one of the other f issues we're finding is that there's a lot of people that you know, have, have seen some strong price growth over the last couple of years and are now looking to upgrade yeah. into a newer home. Mm. But there's not a lot of activity out there by first home buyers or investors, mm. and that's making it harder. A lot of people are looking to buy, you know, they're doing contracts, it's conditional on the sale of their house, and yep. they're just finding it very hard to sell their property. So yeah. a lot of people are... Uh, as I said, there's a lot of listings on the market, mm. um, a lot of people looking to do deals, but they're just, they just not can't. happening. Yeah. Yeah, so the foundation of the market is, if you like, is not as strong being that first home buyer, um, well, we would call it the first home buyer market, although we're told that there aren't too many of them around the place at the moment, which allow the, the next tier of buyers to uh, free up their property and, and make the purchase up the ladder a bit. Exactly right, and we've, we've seen that First home buyers are only making up about 15% of all owner occupier purchases, so right. they're, they're not a big portion of the market. And again, a lot of that demand was brought forward into 2009 because of the low interest rates and the first home owners grant boost. Yep. So we're still, I guess, suffering the effects of that now, um, mm. but we're seeing some impact on the market now. We're seeing a lot of listings and, and not a lot of sales transactions happening.